Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Curse of Tristram. So this game is a fan-made game of Diablo 2 HD Remake Remaster inside of StarCraft 2, which actually makes it a free-to-play game. So first off, let me go and hop in. I'll give you guys a brief little explanation of like how you do things in this game as it's still built inside the StarCraft engine. So there are some other things that you will have to know in order to basically play it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just start off a new character. I'll play for a little bit and I'll show you guys how to connect and play. So first off, we have the nice little campfire screen where you get to see all the classes. I love this. This is really, really cool. And the um, sorceress actually looks really good as well. Like all the uh, models are actually from uh, other Blizzard games and or from Diablo. All the sound effects are going to be there as well. You can load a hero or there's just arena. Is that PVP? That is something new that I haven't seen. But um, let's go ahead and start off and we'll give you guys some gameplay of it. So I actually want to go ahead and roll the druid as I think that's going to be the most impressive thing we have a bonus okay and uh what's this we also have a weekly bonus which the secret cow level opening for free okay yeah i want to go and uh, lock in the druid as i'm curious to see um how they're going to do the animations and all the pets and like there's just so much that uh i have not seen as i did uh, participate in this game's like earlier uh stages of development i showed it to you guys years ago but the guy finally released um this is apparently the final release uh, of the game, but you guys can hear that classic D2 sounds. They've got all the audio here too, but this is not like a full playthrough. It's just more so I want to show you guys uh, the game. So let's see. Oh, uh, please wait your stash is loading. So some of the stuff will take a little bit of time to load in, but you do have like Geed, you have Akara. Um, we're just going to go straight to Den of Evil uh, really quick over here, but the game looks really good. Like that model right there is from Diablo 3. So you'll see that some of the models, actually this looks like it's completely handmade over here, the waypoint system. Now we don't have all the waypoints because we just made the character, but it's to show you guys everything is indeed here and that's so cool. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go kill some stuff, we'll level up, and I'll basically talk a little bit about the game, um, as there are some things that you guys will just have to know, and I'll kind of show you guys um, how to like equip items. It's just some of the things are a little bit different. Um, so Tab will open up the uh, mini-map, you guys can see in the bottom left, which is a perfect spot for it, and you can see the enemies that are around. Oh, is that a shrine? Because this game has definitely uh, changed. Okay, so this is 50% speed bonus, okay. But uh, we'll probably have to level up. I don't know if you, Druid, a lot of times you'll have like a, a skill that's just like built in. Okay, like you'll get like a something that gives you plus one to fireball is what like Sort gets at the start. But I wasn't sure if Druid got one. Looks like we have Melee Splash, which I think is really good. Um, as in Diablo, Melee builds, especially early on, can really suffer from not being able to, uh, you know, do splash damage. But we'll just go straight to the end of evil. And I'll explain some of the differences. So normally with a town portal, you would have to um, use a scroll of town portal. You just get the tomes. Uh, I don't think we have any gold here, but to sell items, let me show you this. So let's see if this actually actually will be faster to use this. So I'm going to equip this. Oh, you know what? You can't do that because what is it? Uh, so require 25 strength. Okay. So if I wanted to equip it, I would have to left click on it and then hit equip. I don't have the strength requirements. So what we're gonna do is instead open our inventory. This is how you sell things, by the way. So you click on the item and then you click on sell and then it'll sell it. And now we can buy another potion. But this is just a quality of life thing uh, for the town portals, which I actually really like. So we'll go back right in to the uh, Den of Evil. As you guys probably remember this area, you'd have to kill everything. And there'd always be like one little guy hiding at the very end. Um, but these uh, Wendigos over here, they're kind of beefy. So I might have to like uh, pop a potion here pretty soon. And another thing is, is that you can stack up to four potions per like uh, number slot. So we have like, you know, one through seven here. Um, each one of those can hold four potions, which is a change up from um, like OG Diablo 2. So there are some changes with this. Um, most of them I would say are quality of life, but there's probably a lot of things that I have not seen yet. Finding two of these at once could be kind of uh, risky here, but I don't actually know what happens when you die, but we'll hopefully level up really soon. So I don't have to keep on like going back into town and like, healing up, but like, if you've ever played Diablo 1, this is what you had to do sometimes. So what you can do though, is if we just stand next to uh, Akara, 
we'd be able to, I think they're using the Adria from uh, Diablo 3 for the skin, but um, you'd have to go back into town. That was just like a thing you, you did. But the, the model of the Druid, like look at it, that looks really good. I think they did a fantastic job on that, but I really want to see the summons. I want to see the shape shifting. So within like two levels, we can do like we can do both because the next level I want to get, we're going to get the uh, shape shift of uh, the uh, werewolf. I'm trying to just drag one of these over here. I'm going to have to like go all the way around. Like all the all the tactics that you would use back in the day because you wanted to save, you know, your potions, although in this case, well, Greetings. We're just gonna go right back in, and that's it's really fast, so I don't really mind going back. So we'll just go ahead and sell that. I kind of want to keep this dagger because if I level up once, it probably will increase DPS because of the attack speed of the weapon. But I remember e even on like the old school vanilla um, variant of Diablo, uh, to uh, weapon speeds mattered a lot. All right, so now that we've leveled up, we've got stat points available. So we have strength, dexterity, vitality, just like you would. Oh, we actually need a lot more strength to get the benefit of that. Uh, I'm just gonna, for the sake of the gameplay, I'm just slamming it all into vitality just so I don't have to keep on going back because that's kind of redundant. But um, let's go ahead and also put in our skill points. So we can get uh, Raven, we can get the Poison Creeper, uh, but I wanted to get that shape shifting first. That's what I want to get. So I'll put one point into uh, the Werewolf and we can also, show off how to use skills in it because it's a little bit different so you click on the skill and then you'd bind it to f1 through 7. Um, this was kind of like a thing you'd have to do in diablo 2 like og diablo 2 as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to like bind this to let's say f7 and then there's also a basic attack and i'm going to bind this to f6 just so i can swap in between this so like f7 i can transform okay that's pretty good and that looks pretty good to be honest and even has like that like hunched over animation, which if you play Diablo, um, Diablo 2, that, that's how the druid worked. So what does it actually grant us? Because I actually don't remember off the top of my head, but it grants us a movement speed bonus and attack speed bonus, and it boosts your attack damage by 30%. And the duration is 55 seconds. So it doesn't actually last forever. Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll start uh, getting all of the summons as well. So yeah, we're not gonna do like a, a full like, you know, playthrough here but just uh, just enough to kind of check out the game and I'm running low on HP again so you guys already know what's gonna happen we're gonna go right back so one thing I've noticed so the game you said it was the final release but it's not completely finished yet I'm not sure exactly what that means but um, I can I can see that the the club that we're like normally holding should probably be equipped to him but okay so we actually have to go transform again but uh, you know it's not that big of a deal considering the game is free right now anyways but uh, the game currently, it's still titled beta, but again, the guy that worked on it said this was the final uh, release. That's at least what when it was titled, so I figured we would check it out and see uh, what it's going to be all about. I actually need to go back. Do we have a decent amount of gold? We have 46. We can buy like three potions over here. Ooh, we're about to die. What do we have 15 HP. Trying to just target like, one thing at once. I also want, would prefer just to level up so I don't have to like, keep on going back, but this is so much faster than you know normal Diablo if you had to go back. So let's actually, uh, since I plan to not use that, I'm just gonna sell everything and then we'll just try to buy as many potions as possible. So you can see how many, you can stack, like now we have seven potions, we have four and then three. to my normal attack. Okay. I do like that you have that cleave attack, but now we have these potions to be much easier. But the uh, quest of Den of Evil is to kill every single monster. We also got an Eagle Orb. Sometimes these can sell for a lot. I wonder if he like did everything in the game, like uh, true to the OG, uh, where like you could get an Eagle Orb and sometimes these, if they have like plus to whatever skill or something, these would just sell for a lot. Anyways, like I said, normally I would put stats into other things, but I just want to slam it all into Vitality now. In fact, going Paladin and just getting like Prayer probably would have been like the easiest way to play through this game. Uh, but we also have, um, 
the lycanthropy, which increases our max life by 20 and increases the animal form duration. I want to get like one point to everything. So I want to go to shapeshifting. I actually, wait, no, summoning. And uh, the ravens, uh, let's see, there's ravens. Okay, the 30, uh, what is it? Duration is 60 seconds. This is 100. Okay, I want to slam one point into this. And then also we have to bind it to an F key as well. So we'll bind this to F5. So go to F5. There's a little poison creeper. We can only, I think we can only get one of these out at a time. But we'll go transform back into the wolf. Oh, we don't have enough mana. Oh. Oh, oh he, it even like, it, did they use like sunken colonies or something? I'm not sure what they used for that animation, but it, it's definitely working. And it even has like, where when enemies poison, they're highlighted in all green. That's cool. I like how it just pops up out of the ground. That's actually really cool, because that's what it would kind of do. It kind of would, would just uh, go through the ground, and it just, it just pops up. I love it. It's awesome. It looks like we got a quilted armor. Do we have to identify it? Oh, 2% mana stolen per hit. That's awesome. So once again, left click, then click on equip. I'm wondering if you equip certain things, if it changes the look of your character. Um, sometimes with quilted armors, it wouldn't really change it. It would just change like the shoulder piece or something, depending on the class that you played too. All right, so let's go ahead and now go back to F7. I don't have the F keys on my keyboard, so sorry, it takes me forever to swap in between. After I actually look down, because I have to hit the function key <laughs> and then find which which F is on which uh, uh, button, because it's all kind of scattered around as I rebound certain things for certain games. But I'm hoping that you can change that uh, setting. But I'm pretty sure, that, let me see if we get extra attacks. So I'm pretty sure you could get extra attacks uh, oh, we got a buckler. That could be nice. So do you not have to identify items? Because we got that blue quilted armor. Oh, you don't even have to. Oh, this could be really good. Oh, uh, what do we need? 40 decks. What's our decks? Oh, uh, that's not going to be for a while. That's uh, unlucky. So I'm wondering if in the werewolf form, can we cast spells? I like, can't like seem to hit that guy. Okay, so going back to, uh, what was it? I think it was F5. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. Or does it maybe force you to swap? I just wish that little thing lasted forever, but I'm sure as you put more stat points into it, you need to cast like once every like five minutes, which won't be that bad. I just want to at least finish the Den of Evil quest just to see like, uh, you know, what the things look like. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about the game so far from seeing it. For me, it's more nostalgia than anything that I, that I enjoy. Um, personally, for me, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting Axel more recently, which is a Diablo uh, 2 mod and they just recently did a new season and uh, if you guys are interested in checking that out I'll also link it down below it's really really cool but this one's completely free to play that one um, you will have to actually have Diablo 2 and you know, not everyone likes the you know old school resolution and stuff so I could see some people finding a uh, you know niche for this game but yeah we're pretty much coming towards the end of the uh, the Den of Evil quest. We actually need to eliminate the uh, the shamans. Otherwise, they're just going to keep on resummoning these guys. That was F7. There we go. F6. Back for the regular attacks. Oh, these guys are hitting really hard. I'm hoping one of them moves faster than the other one so I can... not get completely surrounded. This is more of a thing in Diablo 1 where you get completely surrounded and you just die because of hit hit stun. If you didn't have enough faster hit recovery, it was just rip. What is he immune to? I don't know if that fire is like on the ground and like I need to move out of it. Ooh, we're really low on HP. All right, we're going right back in. Ooh, we barely survived at 14 HP. Okay. Greetings. So let's see if we have any gold. We have 11 gold. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this. And equip everything just so I can have extra defense. Uh, does it tell me how much gold it sells for? It's for some reason, it's not letting me equip this. Do I not have the stats? Okay, I do. And then let's sell this. So, sell. And then I can actually show you. Ooh, here we go. Can you equip this? Well, now we'll have a little. Oh! What? I don't have 30 strength. Okay. That's actually strange. I didn't know Druid actually started out with 15 strength, but. So with, with Charcy, you just sell with her. If you want to buy stuff, you got to go to Geed. I don't know if I have enough gold. The 36 is probably not going to grant us anything. You can see how much it costs. 200, 150. 
55. Okay. So yeah, we can't really buy anything with Geed. It's kind of random with him. If you want to think of it kind of like Kadala in Diablo 3, that's kind of what Geed is. So here is our stash. Old school Diablo 2, like vanilla size stash. So I'm really hoping that your stash size can be increased because that is very tiny, but I'm not sure what they're doing for um, that. I've also noticed the skull cap that we just equipped. I mean, can I unequip it? Can I like drag it off? I, I can't even drag it off. Okay. Cause I'm noticing it like it's like somehow below him. I'm guessing it has to do something with the transformation of the character going into the ground and it swaps the characters. I, I have no idea, but um, that's only my guess. All right, so let's go summon our thing. Go transform back into werewolf and try to eliminate this guy over here. The corpse fire. He has so much HP and he's immune to poison. How much damage are we actually doing to him? Dang, he's gonna require us to go back again and again. Uh, let's see. I can buy two potions though. I wanna, I wanna defeat <laughs> That's my goal here. Oh, the potion gives me full. 402. We're halfway there. Right, that's my last potion. 200. Okay, I'm gonna go back into town now. <laughs> and get the free heals and go right back in. We'll have to do this maybe like once or twice. Um, I like how we can still see his HP. I'm not sure if they have some type of reset system, which would be really unfortunate to run into. So I'll recast that, turn back into a wolf, and uh, try to eliminate him. 156. Oh, doesn't look like we're hitting him. There we go. We're so close. Next, next time we're gonna get him. Oh, is this on cooldown? Okay, no. Good. Greetings. All right. So go right back in. And hopefully this time we'll be able to get him. Seems like there's some type of hit reg that's just not going through. We're killing him, we're killing him, we're killing him. Oh, we have lost! Wait, what does Prey do? So that's the revive? Oh, when we lose percentage of XP. Okay, I mean, it's not that far away. But I guess there is, there is some type of penalty. Uh, normally, what you would have to do is also grab your corpse, but it doesn't look like they made you do that, which I am 100% okay with. So let's go and resummon. Retransform. Oh, we don't have a mana for that. What does it require for transformation? So in order to see that, I guess we have to open up the shape-shifting. It's, uh, mana is 15. Okay, perfect. We can go right back and do it. I feel like the grass looks a little bit weird here. Like, I don't know, maybe it might be the, the shading for the shadows. So, this is where evil hides. I wanted just to eliminate him on that, that one. But I guess we'd have to come back here anyways to, uh, kill all the things. Maybe we can even get a level up. Who was it? another buckler? We can hopefully get one that requires less decks. Oh, they all require 40 decks. So that's not going to be happening. Now I want to I want to get for the next skill. Uh, since we'd be level four, I can get a um, elemental. back in heal up because this is like this is how it's done unless you're playing like i said paladin with prayer it's a little bit rough in diablo 2 even diablo 1 was like this too because you don't really get like leech i mean you get a chip skull
But I just like how they have the uh, the monsters in this little like bottom left thing, and you can see directly, uh, you know, where those monsters are at. There's one more fallen like right around here, because these guys just start running away. All right, we got them. I'm gonna resummon this, and we'll retransform when I can. Like 15 mana for that. Uh, it just looks like there's two fallen and then that one last elite, and since he hasn't healed up. Looks like there's like some weird black wall. That might be due to loading, because before you'd have to load into other zones, and it seems much nicer the way that they've done it now, where you can just like warp in. All right, a moment of truth. Are we gonna be able to kill? Corpse fire this time. Oh yeah, definitely. He has 14 HP. Two hits should be able to kill. Oh, it even has the sound. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go back. Get the extra skill point. Use that new skill. It took us 20 minutes to do Den of Evil. Okay. Oh, now we get our extra skill point. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now let's go throw in the elemental skill. And we can go back in here in a bit a little faster. My rogue scouts have just reported. Oh, hold on. Oh, I guess you're not going to be uh, doing that. So, yeah, I'm actually really curious. Can you... If I could put, like, what, uh, four? So, if we do this... I'm actually more curious... Ooh, that looks pretty cool. So, can you actually be transformed as the werewolf and still use skills? Or no? Oh, you can. I, I Again, I don't remember if you could do that in vanilla, vanilla or not, but either way, that would be something that I consider... Uh, like a nice quality of life change. I'm gonna go up from here. I'm not sure if this would actually be faster, as this area is quite large. <laughs> it's a really funny uh, animation, but uh, it definitely was also hunched over in um, the original Diablo 2. So can we actually go back from here? Oh, here it is. Yeah, you can. And so to get to the next area, is this like locked off? Or like, I'm kind of curious to see how this works as I actually have no idea. There's a chest over here. Locked, yes. Oh. Okay. Can I hit him with this? Oh, that's right. I wish you could have something for your left click. Um, because how it works now is you just have your right click for attack. Do I not have a key? Do I have to? Oh, it even has like the OG chest sounds, okay. Trying to open up this chest. Okay, <laughs> I, I don't know. This is my this is my first impressions of the game. Uh, you know, as I did check out the game a long time ago, it was more just like a proof of concept than anything. Uh, I really like the idea, but like obviously it's still in another game, uh, and there's probably a lot of limitations to like you know what you can do for left clicks, right clicks. But let's see if we go over here if there's anything. Because they showed off Andariel, so I'm guessing you can at least get to Andariel in one of the trailers uh, that was just released today. So it looks like there's a bunch of stuff that's like walled off. I'm not sure. I can we try the chest again. Okay, maybe that's not implemented in yet, or I, I might just be getting a bug or something. But yeah, it looks like this whole area is like gated off for me. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Also. If we actually need to go back to town and that's how we get to the next area or what oh wait we are going to the cold plains oh that's really cool you guys see the mini map it actually completely changes and we can hit the waypoint this is cool like i'm legitimately really impressed by what this guy has actually accomplished even though there are a few i would say a little bit rough edges around the game i think it's cool and it's just more just mind-blowing that starcraft 2 can run diablo to um basically like it, obviously it's inside of its own engine it's it's very impressive to see none the least but anyways i don't feel like i need to extend this video out any further i might check it out but if you guys have any questions let me know in the um comment box below but i also want to show you guys how to connect and play this game so i'm just going to go save and quit over here so it's going to leave the game and i'll show you guys how to play with your friends and stuff so like i said this is inside of starcraft 2 which is just insane so what you do is, uh, you know, this is like your home screen in StarCraft. Um, you would just go to on the top where it says Customs, right? And again, StarCraft 2 is completely free to play. So next you would go to Arcade over here. 
and then where it says search all arcade games, you would type in the curse of, and it should be like the first one. And then you'll see Curse of Tristram, and then you just double click on it, and it'll enter you in a lobby. And it'll, it'll the first time you do it though, it will take a little bit of time as it has to download. Um, but this is, again, just really, really Im impressive. And it's gonna enter you in a lobby. If you want to make it public, it might be joining a game, but it, it does take a while. So again, there we go. Okay, so now it's open. So if I wanna play with my friends, I obviously could invite my friends. Um, or if I wanna, Join with other people, uh, I can go click make public or I can just search for the game, but the first time you'll have to download it. So that's how you would do it. I don't think I'd really mess with anything uh, over here as I think you could make the game run slower if you wanted to, uh, but that's like the basics of it. And then you would just hit start game, it would count you down and then it would be just like entering. So that's how you go ahead and play The Curse of Tristram's uh, most recent beta. Like I said, the guy said it was the final release video. Uh, like the video was titled the final release, but I think he's still working on the game. I don't know how far they've gone, but they did show up to Endariel, which is like the final boss of act one. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and do wanna keep up to date with more Diablo stuff as we have BlizzCon, online just around the corner. I hope that we get an announcement of some type of Diablo 2 remaster remake, like an official one, but the mod is still pretty cool. And I might try out some of the other classes later down the line as um, some of them are definitely gonna be maybe a little bit better than others, uh, even in the mod. Having splash damage actually is pretty big. I'm actually thinking like, you know, zeal, uh, like if I made like a zeal charger, that seems like it'd be kind of fun as that's actually something that I think is really good, especially starting off early on with prayer. It'll make this game so much more simple uh, in terms of going back and forth. but. That's how you played Diablo back in the day. Anyways, take care, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. And let me know your thoughts on it down below. And if you have questions or you can't connect, uh, let me know what your issue is, and I'll try to help you out. Anyways, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.